Hi guys, welcome back to Future Dimensions 360. As you know, we are learning about use reducer hope. And in our last video, we had learned in detail about use reducer hook and a combination of use reducer hook with use context hook. In today's tutorial and the coming tutorial, we will be learning use reducer hook with use effect hook. For that one, what we have to do is we have to learn data fetching with the help of use reducer hook. If we can recollect from our older topics, so we had learned already how to fetch data using use effect hook. What we will do here in today's tutorial is a bit similar to that, we will be fetching data by using use effect hook and then we will set up in a use state hook. In the following tutorial, we will be replacing use state hook with use reducer hook. What we will do in today's tutorial, we will be fetching one post from JSON placeholder. Let me show you from JSON placeholder. For example, the same link we will be fetching. Once we are loading our project, we will be showing the loading symbol. As soon as the post is fetched, we will be showing the title of the post. In case of any error, we will be showing something went wrong. Let's go ahead and try to create a new component here. In my components folder, I'll be creating new file, fetchdata.js, RFC -E, React functional component I had created. First of all, what I need here is I need three things. One thing is I have to open a terminal with a while. I will close the project. What I have to do is sudo npm install Axios. I need an Axios package to call an API. Okay, here my Axios package is installed. I will run my project again and I'll close the terminal down. Second thing is I have to import few things. One of them will be use state. Second one will be use effect hook and then I have to import what Axios package by itself to call an API from Axios. That's it. This is what we need for this tutorial. Second thing, what we have to do here is we have to show a loading symbol. For that one, what I will do here is const, I will say loading and set loading equals to use state, use state and the initial value will be false. Secondly, I will be opening const and I will say post comma set post and the initial value will be for that an empty object. Thirdly, I'll have const error and then set error and the initial value will be use state and empty string. What I will do here is let me go to my div. I will say first of all if loading is true like initially let's keep it true. If loading is true what I have to do here is I have to show this text called loading. In case loading is false, what I have to do here is post, I will show post dot title. Secondly, if there is an error, if error is not empty, just show an error. Otherwise, show null. Similarly, what I have to do here is I have to call a use effect hook inside that one. I will pass a callback that will be running single time. And in that callback, I will say axios dot get what I want to get here is I want to get this post from JSON placeholder. 
control C and control V and then after that there is a promise will be returned after finishing this axios that's called then I'll say response if response is perfect what I have to do here is set loading should be false close the loading and set post what I have to set in the post response dot data and then I will say in case in case there is an error occurred for example I'll say dot catch E double R O R error error will be a callback that's taking error as a parameter what I have to do here is still I will close the loading to false and I will set an error to what something went wrong in case there is no error and the data is fetched properly I have to set back the error string to empty let's hit save and go to our browser and see our react.js application you guys can see there is nothing appear in our screen let me go to inspect element let's see let's just do console.log for response if we are receiving response or no control shift r very sorry we haven't imported that component in our app.js file let's go ahead and you guys can see the response appeared already in my console and I'm able to see the post title in case I will just comment out this loading to false and post and error these three line of code for example so you will be seeing initial screen called loading it's just appearing in some as some fraction of time like milliseconds in the screen because it's very less data and immediately set loading is going on false and we are able to see the title for the post let's see and reload you guys can see control shift r very sorry control shift r we are able to see the title of the post Let's go to our browser. In case I will just make the link wrong to receive an error, you guys can see it's loading and something went wrong. Went spelling is wrong. Let me put it something went wrong. So this is how it will look like. In case of an error, something went wrong will appear. If there is no error, I will see the title for the post. This is how we can fetch single post data by using Axios request and using use effect and use state hook. In the coming tutorial, we will be replacing use state hook with use reducer hook. Please, I hope you guys understand it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. See you in the next video. Take care. Goodbye.